Welcome to episode five of the Insurance Dudes podcast. I'm Craig Kretzinger, and in this week's episode, Jason Feltman and I continue to talk about the ups and downs of agency ownership, what one bad staffer can do to your culture, and we start to talk a little bit about some ALR. How's that get you? Are you pretty stoked? It moves us, that's for sure. This is Insurance Dudes, and we are pumped you're here. Like, it's amazing how long it can take to even catch some of the mistakes. Right. right? And, and then what that does to retention. And now, like, we finally worked out of it. I mean, our, my retention, and, and I have a fairly good-sized book, my retention went up, is up 2% over last year. I mean, that's significant. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, that's, and that's, and it's not, I have less staff, but I have, I have a solid staff. Right. I've had that's as many fun. as 12. I've had, I had 12 with six telemarketers and so 18, we had six telemarketers at night and then the, then the 12 LSPs. And that's like, of, you know, I mean, that, that's like, that was insane, right? Yeah. Trying to manage that, um, that, that involved a lot of drinking to, to, be able to, <laughs> to manage that. But, but um, it was easier for people to hide Right. So if somebody could produce 8,000 and eh, well, they're doing something like here, you know, when there's three producers, everybody's got to do their 30. Right. If they don't do their 30. Everybody knows that they didn't do their 30,000. Yep. Yeah. And, and then there's a, then there's a talk then it's about activity. Then it's, you know, and so that's another thing is, is introducing that accountability was significant. And there was a long time where we're that, for me, it didn't click and I didn't like to do it because I didn't realize how effective it is. And now it's, it's my favorite part of the week. So every Thursday, it's 15 minutes with each, with each staff, even the CSRs to go over their numbers. Like, so Debbie's one of my, is my lead CSR. Like she doesn't have any, any sales goals per se, but we go over how many, you know, what is your goal for Google reviews this week? How many did you get? What is your goal for ALR? How many apps did you get submitted? So everybody does have to get and have to have three ALR apps submitted. So whether oh. it's, you know, some kind of financial that gets submitted or a, um, uh, an IPS that gets submitted an app taken. So it doesn't have to sell. It just has to be inked. And nice. that's, that's been a significant change in that process because we, we used to, We've done, and I've had the same EFS for eight years now. So we've tried everything. And, and we've tried by referrals. We've tried paying for referrals. We've tried all this stuff. The thing that has be, be, been the most effective and got us the most results has been you have to get three apps submitted or you get zero bonus. That's awesome. What kind of bonus? Is it a monthly or monthly? Year? Monthly. That's awesome. So, but that's everybody. So even the producers, they're like, you know, kicking and screaming. I said, it is what it is. If, if I, if, if the, if the office doesn't get it, all state hacks off 10%. And that's the mortgage, right? Yep. So, sorry. It is what it is. It Blame is it on all state. So, and, and tell me about how that started and how you implemented it and how did you get it to work? Cause obviously it's working. How many did you submit last uh, year? Last year, many, many last year we had, we had a, it, it was really weird because last year flipped from where we had a ton of IPS to a lot more production credit. We did a lot of um, mutual funds and, and VAs last year. Um, and, and so now, and, and then the, the, the ones that I had to get rid of weren't producing ALR results. So it was gotcha. a lot of um, these guys that I have now were able to, to follow some of the processes I know you've heard of the build a wall. Yep. Um, you've seen that. Yep. Spoiler alert. There is a secret uh, automated, no, not automated, uh, a web-based build a wall that is, is basically available, but, um, and we're going to do another thing about that, uh -huh. but, um, but that implementing that and having the requirements. So what I did was I listened to my team, right? Some, some people in some offices like saying, here's a form, use this. It has all the stuff. They may say no way, right? Like, yeah, 
been an old, you know, been at this all state forever. They may not do it. They may want paper. That's fine. Use a paper thing, but you've got to have some kind of something like even the green sheets, right? People have used the green sheets and they've had success with the green sheets. For me, it's a little old school. Um, and I like the, I like having the form because it's live. I have the data. We are able to go back to the data. We don't lose the papers. Um, right. but, but so requiring that they do that and that there's a, their comp is tied to, if they don't get them, they get no bonus and none of nobody that works for me can afford to not make bonus. Yeah. So we created a pay structure. I said, look, there has to be incentive for you to hit bonus. And there has to be a penalty if you don't do this thing that, that we have to have as an agency, like this agency won't be here if we don't get the ALR. Right. It's, just a, it's a fact. Right. And that's the same for everybody. Like I, I, it's remarkable how many agents are at 9% right now. And all they got to do is tweak a little tiny bit of process. I mean, I'd just be yeah. writing basic terms all day. Cause that's another thing you can write tons of basic terms. We've, we've begun, we like in December, that's when we, we started ramping up IPS again. Mm -hmm. December we did 10 IPS. Nice. And it was uh, six of them were basic terms, but they're so simple. Right. You know, you're just on the phone with would them. You, hey, would you say they're basic? I'd say they're pretty basic. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> we're going to stop here. Have a quick 30 second break. We will be right back. Hi, my name is Myra. I'm an agency owner here in San Antonio, Texas. I opened up a scratch agency in 2018. So we were falling behind and I just knew something had to change. So I hired Agency Vault for a private coaching session with my team. The biggest takeaway was having a specific framework for selling. We've been able to increase our sales by 40%. So I highly recommend Agency Vault and working with them to incorporate this framework into your agency. Thank you, Myra. And now back to the show. That's awesome, man. That's good to hear because I think a lot of people don't believe that that can happen. So, I mean, if how many, how many staff do you have? Five. Five. And all five of them are pretty much hitting their three apps a month. We introduced this in December and I did a kind of a slow rollout because I knew that I'd get pushed back. And, yeah. and in my old age, I'm becoming more patient and realizing <laughs> you can't just jump in the speedboat and go at 200 miles an hour like you have right. to slowly ramp up right and so so it's december hey we're gonna test this and you guys have to do it but i'm not gonna pull your bonus away just keep in mind in in january it's gonna be go time and then in january i i i knew that i was gonna let it go in january but in february it was there was no option so in january mid-january we had our kickoff dinner and that's where we talked it over again but again usually it seems to me resentment and and anger and all these different emotions that come up when when stuff doesn't go the way they want it, it's a lack of communication right mm -hmm. so if 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 we don't over communicate what our expectations are then then that's on us right like yeah, I want them true. to do this, but, but then you tell them once they don't remember they're doing a million things out there, right. right? We're hitting them constantly with a million different things and the clients are too. So that was why, where this was much more effective in doing it this way. And now this last, so February, everybody got three apps submitted. That's awesome, man. You can't and ask. It was them because more. it was, you know, yeah. And I was on them every week. And, and I mean, you know, I was, I was in, I was in Japan for a week. Um, I was out somewhere else. So I'm not even there, but I'm using Slack, um, which is a way that we communicate. I'm in there and just like, Hey, we're all meeting on zoom. Everybody's doing their one-on-ones. It doesn't matter where I am. I, I, I will meet with them regardless That's of cool. where I am. 15 minutes. What was what's working? What's not, what can we do better? And what are your numbers? Boom. Next one. And they right. love it. Like they, they really, unless they're lying to me and I don't think they yeah. are, <laughs> I mean, they, they like those meetings. Like they're like, Oh, like if I'm, if that's awesome, man, I think you're uh, as an agency owner, I think you get kind of in a routine and 
you know, you expect everybody that everybody's kind of doing their own thing and then you kind of let that meeting go and then you let the next one go and it's right. been spiral way out of control. It's slippery slope. It, it's yeah. definitely slippery. So that's where, where we have to be true to ourselves and hold ourselves accountable. Like I get, I've become very, very calendar focused and it's all on the calendar. Like if it's on the, if it's on the calendar, I don't typically miss it. Which is why we pushed yeah, this yeah. back. It wasn't on a, it's like, ah, I got to put it on the calendar. Right. Yeah. And so That's, it's, it's just because there's too many, cool, man. There, I know from, from where I sit that I get interrupted all day long. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm certain that, you know, a new agent or somebody that has a couple million dollar book that has one or two staff, like they're just getting blown up. Yeah. And so if they don't have, if you don't have tight processes, you don't understand how to prioritize because you know, that, that was me. I didn't, I couldn't prioritize. I was like trying to answer every text, email and call all at the same time as they're coming in. And that's just, that's a recipe for insanity. Yeah. Process is king. Process. Um, is king. And it's funny because a lot of times when you're developing a process or thinking about implement, implementing something like you're talking about sitting down with your staff or whatever, whatever it takes. It seems like that'll take a lot of time, but it's almost the opposite. Like putting that time in creates less time of having to worry, having to do reconnaissance on whatever. Right. Like we ran out of the, um, the, the bank slips, the little deposit slips. Yeah. And so somebody said, Hey, how do I order more of these? I mean, I have no idea. Right. And so, I think the last person that ordered those is no longer here and we don't have anything written down anywhere and nobody knows how to do it. So all of a sudden you have four people trying to figure out how to do something that generates zero revenue for the agency. (laughs) Yeah. It's just like the ultimate distraction. Right. So I said, okay, everybody time out, stop working on this. I'll handle it. And, and I thought, okay, I'm going to go to the one person who, who will be doing this going forward. We're going to sit down and we're going we're gonna to talk about what you need to do because we don't know. We'll find out. And then we're going to write it down. We're going to put it on our, save, on our shared drive. Or I'll probably upload it in the agency vault. And then it's, it's there. Like, here's the process, right? And it's like, but there's a million of these. Yeah. But if you can tackle them and record them, re- write them down, turn it into digital, and maybe even record a video of it, while you're talking about doing it, then it's done. In so instead of saying, Hey, this is how we do it. Now let's, you know, down the road, let's make this process. It's like, no, 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 now make it now. Yeah. And then yep. file it away and it's done. Yep. That makes sense. I don't know why I'm yelling at you. The, procrastination is the worst, the worst the enemy of any business owner. It is. Uh, and it's easy to do because there's too many things coming in. Yep. I think there's a difference between there, there's a difference that gets missed between procrastination and prioritization. Yeah. Right. Like you can't answer every email. It just isn't going to happen. And you can't stress about not answering every email. You have to look at which ones are high priority and which ones aren't and, and then work through them or, you know, delegate them out or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, it's true. But not say I, I'm not going to look at my email. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> right right I said earlier <laughs> <laughs> well cool man uh thanks for sharing about yeah. uh everything it's uh it's it's good it's comforting to hear especially that i mean everybody has problems and stuff that goes on in an agency and it's like everybody you know you see a lot of people posting the good or talking about the good but there's a lot of uh, rough stuff that if we talked about a little bit more often probably help each other out with and it would definitely percent, And that's what, you know, that's what the point of this podcast is, is we bring on more people um, and, and different guests. And I, I know that we have a couple ringers set yeah. up for the next couple of weeks. And so um, far, far more interesting to me. And, <laughs> you know, what we're going to bring them in. They're going to, they're going to provide some insight. You can take it, you can leave it, but hopefully you leave that conversation uh, in a better position. So we're going to stop it here. Um, this is Craig Pretzinger, uh, back with you. Uh, we're going to stop it here. We did 
get through about another hour and a half of, of chatting. Uh, the, the, the roles flipped. We ended up doing actually interviewing Jason a little bit, and we're going to get to that in the next couple weeks. Um, but we hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please comment, uh, hit us with a subscribe on iTunes or on Google Play, and we will see you next week.